the revolution. Are we on the air? Yes, you are. Live from the studios in Barcelona, Spain. Please welcome Slade Suter Alive on Authenticity Radio. Thank you very much. Where the honesty is refreshing, phoniness out of style, and the only thing available on today's menu is the freedom to express who you truly are. That is what they do. This is Authenticity Radio. And thank you very much for joining us today. This is Slade Suter. And I am broadcasting today from the Authenticity Radio Studios. Sitting on top of the world. Families. What are families? Well, families, families, families can be one of the most most growth-filled places on this planet. And this is a place where we can let our flowing locks down, our our hair down, and we can show our true cut, (laughs) and we can show our true colors and letting it all hang out. Well, family members also have a certain type of ESP and x-ray vision, don't they? They can kind of see right through you and figure you out in places where you can't even figure yourself out. So it can be a very growth-filled and loving and um, homeogeneous home. Hmm, Homeogeneous, I kind of like that, place. And it can be a very rugged storm uh, as soon as you walk through the door uh, for many people. So what happens uh, when, when the lightning is flashing and the thunderbolts are rolling, what happens when we're in a conflict? A type of conflict where we just can't see our way out. Well, don't fear, don't fret, because my friend Dorothy West is back here with us again today. And she is joining us all the way from Pennsylvania, USA. It's been a long time since I've had Dorothy West back on here. She is a she is a relationship coach. She is a family mediator coach and she is very very good. Dorothy West, my friend. Welcome back to Authenticity Radio. Thanks, Slade. It's really fun to be talking with you again. Uh, Great to be back on the radio station and especially grateful to be talking about families. Mm -hmm. Love talking about families. Families, yes. So do I. I have have family. (laughs) A couple of them, right? I even like them. I mean, I I kind of enjoyed my family. And Dorothy... Family mediation or, or family coaching, as, as you, you, you call it family coaching, right? It, yes, that's what I'm doing. I do coaching. Okay. Uh, there are some subtle and not so subtle differences that will you know, show themselves through our conversation, but I'm, I'm a family coach. You're a family coach. And, and you are an ORSC trained coach, O-R-S-C, O-R-S-C. Is that correct? Yes. yes. ORSC. <laughs> okay, so, so what is ORSC? ORSC is uh, Organization and Relationship Systems Coaching. Jeez. Really beautiful, solid foundation, uh, good view, lens to view families and systems through. So every, every family is a system. A system. So that means, that means there are patterns developing, there are devo- default programmings. There's also the big question of what's trying to happen. Mm-hmm. But Risk gives you, um, as I said, a lens to, to look through that sees the family as a system mm-hmm. with wisdom and questions and, and an agenda um, and, as well, and also potential unfolding. Mm-hmm. And, 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 so, and so what happens, um, Dorothy, when, when we have two or more family members with a severe disagreement, a type of disagreement that is interfering with the family itself, and then these family members recognize that they just can't get it done, that they keep going round and round? 
Would that be a place that you would enter? Yes, that's a frequently a place I would get called in. Um, what happens in that in in that scenario that you're describing, or at least in in that chapter of scenarios, mm-hmm. is that that the coach reflects the system back to itself. So rather than rather than me hearing everybody state their case and then picking a winner, it's more like I reflect back where I see. Um, some misalignment or where I see obvious differences in expectations and agendas and values. Um, and sometimes just just getting that reflection is enough. Uh, you know I, it can be one session where you hear that you hear the people say, "Oh wow, completely didn't know that, completely didn't see that 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 clears it all up. Hmm. So, so you must be one of those rare individuals that have this active listening gifts. Yeah, I I, I can say um, I've I've practiced that <laughs> to the extent that I'm listening with um, way more than my ears. I'm listening with my whole field, all the energy in my field, picking up subtle shifts. I can I can hear far beyond my ears and eyes. Mm-hmm. And, and what, what about hidden agendas? Even agendas that I might not be aware of. Can, can you hear those as well? Yeah. Oh, that's where everybody's so fascinating. Ooh. You know, there's, especially I love the agenda that that we, we don't want to acknowledge. So I'll have an agenda, but even I don't believe that that agenda is valid or I'm kind of maybe ashamed of it a little bit. So I don't want to acknowledge my agenda, but I want you to honor it. So when you see those kinds of things going on in relationships and you reflect that back to the people, then they're empowered to straighten it up and make it true. To make it true. But that's that's really a, the the coach's job is to empower empower the clients to to take this gift of a situation into the fulfillment of what's trying to happen, and that's always good. By the way, mm-hmm. there's never there's never <laughs> there's never uh, horrible things ahead by their by their own nature it's always something good that wants to happen Hmm. okay so so that's what you're kind of facilitating yes and that's what your expectation is yes and and you're holding this something good uh, for these individuals that you are coaching right i'm also act acting in concert with their genius every one of us is a a genius a brilliant creator and that is that's who I'm interacting with. So we might all of us exhibit behaviors that aren't particularly genius, but we are brilliant creators. And so when when I'm coaching with someone, I'm I'm coaching the the genius creator in them. Wow! So you're holding them high. Yeah, absolutely. Probably a lot higher than they're even holding themselves at the beginning of the coaching session. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully. Hopefully they would leave at a higher vibration than they came in. Okay, so so, so you, you just don't open with that, do you? You, you're, you're, you have a system to begin with. What, if I come in mm-hmm. to you and, and I have uh, my family members with me that I'm having a conflict with and I, I sit down with you, how, how does it go? I mean, can you give us a little example? Okay, sure. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Um, first, the first... The first is that um, I w- I want them to know that I see them as brilliant creators and that I'm not there to pick a winner. That um, nobody gets to be wrong. Everybody's right, at least partially. Mm-hmm. And what we're actually looking for is not a resolution to the immediate situation, but an understanding of what's trying to unfold that you're trying to get to a greater place than you've ever been before. And my job is to support that unfolding. And then I would ask you, ideally, if I could wave my magic wand and everything went absolutely perfectly in your view, 
what, what does it look like now? What's true now? And then I would be asking you to state your desired outcome, essentially. Mm-hmm. And then we compare the desired outcomes. And I would work with you to uh, get big enough and broad enough that the desired outcomes match. It, it seems like when people are going into a, a, a mediating type of situation, there's almost an expectation that there's some type of a judgment involved or that I have to win, that my story has to win. And and you are disabling that from the very beginning, it sounds as, as if this, this is what you're doing. That's exactly, that's exactly right. And it, another thing I frequently say is the best possible outcome is the result of a, of a conversation between the two most opposing points. So you, if you've got a you know two or more people with a broad range of views on a situation mm-hmm. that means the outcome is something that's mind blowing where if you're just off a little bit okay we'll find a resolution but it might not be that exciting if there's a really big space in between it's going to be an exciting outcome jeez it it, for everybody. okay okay can i ask you a, a real question Dorothy? yeah does, does this really work? Yes. Oh, yes. Have, have you ever found a real smashing, like you said, big, uh, exciting resolution between, be, between family members that have had big distance between them? Uh, yes. One of my favorites is, um, it's this recent, some, some sisters who were, at odds about what should happen with their mother. Mm. Um, And the outcome was the resolution of something that happened decades ago that got buried and stepped over and never got discussed. And when that thing from decades ago was came out on the table and was resolved. The thing about the mother disappeared. There was complete agreement on it. Jeez. But they had been trying unconsciously for decades to resolve that thing. And and both parties were happy with the yep. outcome. Th- three. 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 <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> three sisters. Now mom's yeah. going to live with you. <laughs> <laughs> and the resolution about where the, it never was about where what was going to the, the the mom's living situation. It was never really about that. Mm-hmm. So you reflected right until they were able to see what was really underlying their conflict. Yes, and what what happens if I could talk about what happens in the energy. Yeah, tell tell me. That'll be interesting. What, what's what's going on in the fields? Yeah, what happens in the energy is they sounded like children. <laughs> so, if I if I don't have to judge that, and I take that as information for the coach, that they're talking like children. Okay, these are these are children. What what's happening there? And I s- continued to engage them at with that information the information that I heard that they were, they were talking like children was valid. It was good information for the coach. Mm -hmm. So I followed that and that's where the actual resolution was. It's where it was lying. Mm -hmm. So it would be a situation where if you were only interacting with the current moment and your expectations as coach, you might say, Hey, you're talking, you're acting like children. How about you act like adults? But if I take all the incoming information as <laughs> perfect and mm-hmm. valid and accurate, then I can use it. Mm. And we, we were talking about that word perfect before yeah. we began recording. Uh huh. And, and, um, I had some misgivings of the word perfect because of what it could represent. And and you came at this definition, you, you have a definition of perfect that's very different than my definition, that's much more inclusive 
and much more powerful. Can you can you share with us your definition of perfect? Oh, let's see if I can. Um, I, I think I remember what I said to you, but I'll I'll just go with a new one. Okay, that <laughs> every, everything that shows up in front of me is an accurate reflection of my starting place, my creational point. And it's always accurate, I can count on it, that what I've got in front of me reflects perfectly the point from which I created it. And so if I want something in my current reality to be different, I want to start from a different creation point. And that's, it's, it's always perfect. That's always an accurate reflection. And I can count on it. I can duplicate it and I can make any navigational changes that I want knowing that. And you take this concept and you bring this concept alive within your coaching sessions inside the family or with the family. I do. If if I'm getting, if I'm getting information and I'm in a, I'm in high frequency without any judgment of myself or others. Ooh. That, then, I, th- hold on, that, that's tough right there. <laughs> uh-huh. That is tough. It is. Well, it, it's, it's something to aspire to. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I trust that I get better at that every time I practice it. Um, that the information flowing is, is always useful. It's, it's really the question of how much of me interferes with it. So if I'm in a state that's high frequency without judgment of myself or others, the information that flows is clear and pure and useful. And so I can follow it and trust it and use it. And, it's, and you can do that most of the time. Uh, I can do it really well as a coach. I have the same the same kind of um, challenges using it in my personal life as everybody else. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, however, as a coach, um, it's so exhilarating for me to coach mm-hmm. uh, that I use every possible tool I can, and I get to my highest my highest frequencies occur when I'm coaching. Mm-hmm. It's truly an exhilarating experience for me. Have you ever had to postpone a session of being muddled down yourself? If if the session is not going to roll out optimally, it won't happen. So um, it it rarely necessitates a phone call from me that says I'm canceling with you. It will just fall through, and I trust that. Okay, so... I mean, apart from physical ailments. Um, that well, sometimes you, it's how yeah. it goes. Sometimes it's, um, I can, let's say, wow, I'm so distracted today. Is a coaching session going to enable me to focus or is a coaching session not going to roll out optimally because I'm so distracted? Mm. I ask that question I get the answer in a knowing either that session's going to happen or it isn't. If it isn't going to happen, I stand in the knowing that it isn't going to happen and it doesn't. Wow. So it's, you're kind of making a prophecy and it's fulfilling itself. Yeah, it's 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 being a creator and using that that knowing that I can access to create my reality. Um, so, so Dorothy, uh, yeah. let's, let, let's play a game. Okay. Let's imagine that, uh, Samantha, uh, my wife, Samantha, it's not my wife's name, but here, here you go. She contacts you and she wants you to work a coaching, a family coaching. Yes. And then, uh, you contact me and I'm just not interested. I don't want to do it. Can you do it? Okay, so I'm going to back you up a little bit. When Samantha calls me Mm -hmm. and she says, I want coaching for my relationship with my husband. Yes. Right. I say, um, 
how's your husband feel about it? Uh, he's closed. Oh, he's closed. He doesn't. Okay. He doesn't like the idea. If if your husband doesn't want coaching, he can't be coached. If coaching's not something you can force on somebody. So, how about if since you want coaching, how about you come for a coaching session, and、I'm, we'll see what's available for you. Well, that, that, but what what good will that do me? Because I, I have the problem with my husband. It's not with myself. Oh、uh, well. You, coaching will un, unveil for you that you have so much more power than you're aware of to change your reality. It might surprise you.、Hmm. In fact, I could pretty much bank on it surprising you. Jeez. Okay. Well, th- th- there you go. So it does take two people, or two or more people, willing to go through this experience. However, there's another option, which is to take. One willing party in, and to see what is available for that individual、uh, to better the situation. Slate, as I'm as I'm remembering, I did have a couple come.、Um, actually, again, the the wife <laughs> has in your scenario. The wife wanted coaching for for the, for her marriage.、Mm-hmm. The husband was unwilling, but he attend. He came with her. And I asked him to just be the observer, and to please not say anything, and try and keep his facial expressions as neutral as he could. I was just going to work with her, and it turned out that what she wanted, she wanted the coach to fix her husband, <laughs> to be the way she wanted him to be.、Mm-hmm. That was her agenda. So of course he didn't want coaching. Of course. Of course. I mean, like if, if somebody's shaping them. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bunch of clay. Just have at me. <laughs> Fix me. So I coached her, like you do,、mm-hmm. and she had radical shifts. He felt acknowledged and supported from observing, and it was he who wanted to come back. For a oh, session, how、together. nice! But the wife didn't want to come back. <laughs> no, she did. She did. <laughs> But she had a major, major shift in that、yeah. coaching session, and with him being there as an observer, she didn't have to explain anything to him. He had his own experience of seeing it. So that has happened.、Um, also, really great sessions with teenagers. I love teenagers. You work with teenagers. teenagers. I, you know, love them. Love, just love teenagers. I love what they represent on the planet. I love、um, the <laughs> potential under pressure. <laughs> I love them.、Um, so I work with, fan- yeah, couples with that have teenagers. Wow. Okay. So, 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 mediations of this sort is kind of like court mandated, or, or is it?、Um... I have worked with a lot of court mandated. Situations, but that's not my clientele now.、Um, my clientele now would be high-powered parents whose teenagers are not what they expected.、Um, <laughs> Imagine、uh, fix this kid to be more like what I had in mind,、mm-hmm. um, and that sounds really judgmental, and it's more entertaining than anything. <laughs> But、well, when they come to coaching, there is no rank,、mm-hmm. so、um, the, it's fun to explain to the parents that for the for the process of coaching, your age doesn't give you rank. You're you're now three beings with equal rank. Wow, I, I could just imagine the teenager. Or the or the youth that is sitting in your presence, going,、so, yeah. "Wow, that feels good." And taking on some serious responsibility, because as long as the teenager's only job is to resist their parents' wishes, they don't have to take on any self-responsibility. And so, when I level the playing field like that, what it might sound like is just giving the teen res- some power and disempowering the parents, but it's actually quite the opposite. It creates space for the teenager to take self responsibility 
and the parents to give their teens space to be that their own person. It seems like you're allowing each individual to see their own respect that they have for themselves and the other person involved. Yes. That's powerful. Yeah, there's a big, powerful energy shift when that happens. It's too bad that you couldn't videotape those <laughs> for all of us to see. <laughs> kind of like a reality TV. But, yeah, I'm sure my clients would love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you probably would lose the ratings because, because you would have too much resolution going on. Not, not <laughs> enough fist fighting and this type of thing. Wow, Dorothy. So so how do how do people, if um, I have uh, some listeners just saying, you know what, that might be a venue or an avenue, that might be a nice avenue to travel. And I would like to try it with Dorothy. How mm -hmm. does somebody get a hold of you, Dorothy? Well, my, my website is thehappinesscompany.us, and you can contact me at that site. Um, my email address is coachdorothyE at comcast.net. Okay. I, I will go ahead and post all of these next to the show. And so everyone, anyone, and everyone, I don't know how busy you're going to be, uh, that wants to, can receive, can contact Dorothy through that way, through this, through the links. And Dorothy, do you have a current message that you would like to deliver to humanity? Oh, yes. Huh. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to still keep it, keep it in the family conversation. Please. Okay. Uh, ideally a family are individuals who recognize each other as co-creators and support each other's biggest becoming. As co-creators and support each other's biggest becoming. Yes. Message to humanity. Dorothy West. Families can go through a huge shift under your watch. Thank you. I um it it's my it's my intention that um, families recognize how powerful their relationships are mm -hmm. and um, utilize that, utilize that for the evolution of all of us. Certainly the evolution of our society. We move out of robot mode and how it's supposed to think we remember it's supposed to look and look ahead to how it can be. Dorothy West, thank you again, my friend, for joining us on Authenticity Radio. It's been my pleasure, as always, Slade. Love the conversations with you. This is Slade Suter. Until next time, be authentic, be true, learn how to co-create and support each other's biggest becoming, and be free. But I do know one and one. And if this one could be with you, yeah. Conflict is a choice you know. In order to gain a new perspective and how to resolve conflict in your organization, business, or family, go to AuthenticityRadio.com. Authenticity Radio.